Hey, 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 everybody. All right. Okay, shut the fuck up. So listen, um, it's Memorial Day weekend. It's uh, Friday. It's four o'clock. I'm heading out. I'm going home. And uh, I don't fucking wait, you fucking motherfucker. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to rant. I don't know how long it's going to be. Bear with me. I really want to get it going. I really make good rants, but I don't do it on the phone while videotaping because that defeats the purpose from taking the rant. So anyway, long story short, two weeks ago, I'm at JK18's house, right? Wish I could put this somewhere. Oh, hey, what's going on there, Dick? I'm at JK18's house two weeks ago, and we're like, I'm having all sorts of these fucking problems with this piece of shit fucking car. It's, it's, it jitters, it doesn't jitter, you step on the gas, it doesn't go nowhere, it doesn't go nowhere, and Jay's like, oh, why don't you reset the uh, battery, sometimes maybe the car's so new, alright, we pop the neutral off, the neutral, listen to me, the negative, whatever the case may be, at his house, we put it back on, we wait a couple minutes, we're bullshit, and we put it back on, I start everything, I gotta check engine light, we start laughing, Jay starts laughing, aha, you fucking piece of shit car, okay, so I'm like, oh, fuck, what do we do? And Jay's like, oh, go to AutoZone. They'll test it for free. So I go to AutoZone. The guy fucking plugs it in. Takes two seconds. I get a U something. Ah, a U15 something, whatever the code is. I don't have it on me. I'm in the car. It says something like, steering module can no longer fuck you in the ass. But it likes to. And it's like, well, what does that mean? And uh, I called Jay on the way back from AutoZone, and Jay looked it up for me. And Jay's like, I don't see anywhere that this fucking says anything. I don't know. And he's like, it's probably one of those fucking Chrysler codes because there's so much garbage in this car and, and, and all these fucking buttons and doodads. And someone turned around and says, oh, we need a code or something. So long story short, and then uh, I, keep, I don't know why I should, I should even say that because this is going to be a fucking story. And um, so I go driving, I call up a Chrysler, and I said, I have a check engine light, and they, you know, they jerk me off, you can't just bring it in, everything has to be fucking brought in because insurance reason, insurance reasons, this is not just some, you know, mom and pop place, and I'm like, okay, All right, I schedule it for a fucking Monday, and I'm driving around, and then I go and say, hey, let me go to Jay's again for something, and then I say, let's pop off the negative cable again, and then um, we pop it off, no, we don't pop it off. No, Jay goes on the internet and tries to find some kind of weird code that says, like, on, off, on, off. On, off, on, so nothing happens. And then all of a sudden, the automatic start stops working. The automatic start stopped working when the check engine light is, and then Jay sent me a fucking email stating that these things don't work when the check engine light's on because Chrysler doesn't want them to work. So then, if you're following me, then I'm finally, um, he pressed, we press these buttons, it doesn't work. I say, fuck it, let's take the battery off just for shits. We take it off, we put it back on, still no check engine light on. I said, okay, good. The next morning I wake up, beep, beep, from my, my, my uh, bedroom window, and it just goes beep, it doesn't start. I come to work, and then I, uh, I'm on my lunch break, and I test it out, nothing. So I called Jay, Jay's like, why don't you just enter the code? Maybe I fucking deactivated it. All right, so on, off, on, off, I, I don't know. Like two, three tries, tries later, I press the fucking automatic stop button on the key fob, which is from the factory, by the way, if that's what you're asking. Um, the key fob's on my belt, I can't show you. And uh, because it's keyless, I don't know if that picks it up right here. I can't fucking put a key into anything anymore. Never tried popping that off, but I don't. So I'm not sure about that. Let's get them with this kind of vessel. So anyway, that's that. And um, so the light's off. So anyway, whew, I walk in. Now, Bunch, you know, no offense in advance to any derogatory terms and or anything that anybody, um, but that's the way I am and that's the way I talk. So I, I roll up, I'm behind two cars, all the grease monkeys are fucking, uh, I, don't, I don't know what to do, it's like fucking one o'clock on a Monday, I don't know, you know, there's fucking 50 cars in there, which, you know, if you think about it, think about it, let's, let's food for thought. If a car was built correctly and has no problems... Not age, I'm saying problems. Don't you think there shouldn't be any new cars in the dealership other than routine maintenance as far as wiper blades or brakes or tires, which shouldn't, shouldn't even, you shouldn't even have to touch for three to five years, okay? 
So I see all these brand new cars and all these Chryslers and uh, you know all this stuff in there, and I'm like, this is stupid. So I walk in, hey, go see the sales so uh, sales or associate. Oh, I got a little pimple here. I'm gonna take care of that. Excuse me. I got, oh, I got a little. Oh, I got. Oh, I got, wait. So let me switch arms. Ah. Oh. So I go see the sales associate. I can't do that because I'm doing. So I go to see the sales associate, and then the associate turns around and says, "Hey, um, what's the matter with the car?" I'm like, "Oh, other than it being a piece of shit, just like stood there, just." Not even a chuckle, just uh, check engine lights on, but it's not on now. Okay, no problem, sir. I'm gonna need some information from you. Beep, up, up, a boop. Okay, sir, are you waiting or are you keeping the car? It's, it's one o'clock. Uh, I'm not waiting. Oh, okay, sir. Well, it's gonna be one to two hours. For a check engine light? The fucking AutoZone guy plugged it in at 30 seconds. So an hour goes by. We look at the other piece of shit cars. And, oh God, people in the right lane after four o'clock. They're not supposed to be in the right lane. And then they put their hazards on and then they think it's okay. And then you try to cut in front of people and then they don't let you in. And then they get, then you get into an accident. Then they have the bolts to turn around. But office officer, he cut me off. But you didn't let me in. Because it's Memorial Day. Okay, this whole world fucking is in a, in a big hurry. The only fucking time the world ever fucking held hands is during 9-11. Now everyone's like, you know, fuck you, pay me. Right back to normal. So anyway, so that's that. And uh, so now I'm at the two hour mark. The guy came out at like one hour and 30 minutes. He's like, I just won't let you out. Oh, they're working on it. We haven't found the code yet. I'm like, what are you talking about? Turn the car on. Cause some cars are different. The AutoZone guy did the same thing. He put the auxiliary on, it didn't show the code. And then he put the code on. Uh, then he pressed the on run. It didn't show the code. And then he pressed. The, the, then he turned the thing on. And oh, Eureka! The code. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so he comes back to me. Now I'm waiting. Now I'm waiting. Now I'm walking around. Now I'm now I'm at the two hour mark. I'm getting fucking. I'm getting annoyed. And now I go. I go outside. And I see my car with the front windows down. I said, well, okay. It's like, so we'll say three o'clock. Oh, it's just 3 o'clock. I give him a guy a couple minutes. I don't know how long the car's been there. 3.15. I go, oh, the car's there. 3.30. Okay, the car's moved. It's backed up. But the windows are up. I said, okay. No sign of anybody. Nobody. No, man, no one's walking around. I don't know where the associates are. So finally, like, now, now it's at three and a half hours. So now, now, I, get, now I get all the shatayan sh sh on it. So I see the sales manager. Excuse me, I'm sorry. The mechanic manager the uh, shop manager which is not a shop manager shop supervisor I knock on the door and I go hi how you doing are you in charge of all these guys yes sir what seems to be the problem uh, my car's been out front for a half hour I'm assuming it's done Can we, you know, I've been here three and a half hours for, for a check engine light I didn't get anything else done oh well, who's the sales associate Dennis what's your name boop uh, Dennis I have boop on the phone Okay. He's working on it right now. Oh, I bet he is. I bet he is. So I don't have the sales receipt on me. So basically, the guy comes out conveniently after like 10 minutes. Hi, how you doing, Mr. So-and-so? Mr. Boop. <laughs> and this is this is what was wrong. We had a code, 1234, which didn't match the AutoZone code. And he's like, it looks like that your steering, power steering module, center, thingamajiggy, duhod, or Johnson rod... Uh, signal fluid combo was something was wrong so we updated that well yeah all these new Chryslers and some of the Jeeps and they have upgrades they have upgrades okay oh it's like a big computer the heart of your car is fine but the uh, everything around it was crapping out oh, okay so my car has crapple software and then while we were in it, the computer prompted us, you know, boom, you have fucking Chrysler updates. So we updated your PCM, your ECM, I swear to God, your HVAC system, everything, uh, PCM, ECM, TCM, basically everything that had to do with electrical, uh, power, traction control, all this fucking fake shit. I read it to Jay, 
And Jay's like, what? So you plug this thing in under the steering wheel and basically you do a Windows update on my Chrysler. So I'm like, I, I get an oil change for $28. I'm not going to bring my Chrysler to get a $37.50 50 and 50 cent oil change that's going to take four hours. When I give the guy $28 cash and I'm done in 10 to 15 minutes. And so I said, what happens in like 10, 15 years when I don't update this thing? And which I'm not keeping, by the way. Oh, no, the, the car's just going to run. Maybe you'll get like a message or something. I don't know. The car's not that old. Right, maybe, maybe. So at 10 minutes and 38 seconds, that was my check engine light rant for my 2015 Chrysler 200. It's a three-year lease. I hit one year March 1st. Today is May 28th. Yep, May 28th. There's so much wrong. I'm not going to give them this car and give them a sheet of paper and say, step on gas, car don't move. Car shakes and rattles while putting it into drive car like diesels out look i stepped on the gas just now didn't, didn't go nowhere it kind of like uh, 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 we have to drive uh, 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 we have to drive we have to drive i tried dream driving this thing like shit with jay in the car whoa traffic <laughs> oh that would have sucked right there huh? bang <laughs> uh blind curve everybody blind curve okay thanks for watching there's plenty of more because i have another two years owning this piece of shit Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next rant.